Let's get started with our first color, which will be a green. So if you have any green in your art box, feel free to grab that. Today, I'll be using markers, but you can use crayons or anything you have in your art box that have the same colors. Uh, to start out with our green, let's go to the bottom of our mermaid's beautiful tail to the flute. So right here at the very end, these two here will use our green very carefully. And as I, you can see, I will outline it first, just to make sure I stay within those lines, especially where it gets a little smaller for us. I wanna make this mermaid with you all very colorful. So we're gonna use some nice colors that give us many beautiful colors to have our cute little mermaid stand out. So let's go ahead and color in just like that. Beautiful. And what we can do is once we have this colored in, let's color the rest of our cute little mermaid's tail. So to do that, grab blue. If you have any blue in your art box, go ahead and grab that color. I'm going to try to use a light blue or a bright blue. Anything that you have similar to that blue family would be great. And right in here, let's go ahead and color in the entire tail in blue. And if you feel like you want to use some different colors, feel free to go ahead. Once you download that coloring page, you can have a great time being as creative as you want to be with your coloring page. So if you want to make the tail something different, go right ahead. That's the great part about coloring and art here at Sam's Cool Colors. We can be as creative as we want to be. If you use some different colors, let me know in the comments what colors you decided to use for your cute little mermaid. So right over here, let's go from left to right and take our time and color in the rest of our mermaid's tail. And right over here, it gets extra curvy. So be careful right in there. Just follow along those lines and it'll come out beautiful for you. So right in here, you can go ahead and color that in. And if you're missing a few colors, feel free. You can use one color on all of it if you need to. There's no worries there. So let's put our blue aside. And now let's go ahead and color in this crown that's at the top of our little mermaid that's made of seashells. So to make this a little extra colorful, I wanna make two colors out of the crown. The first is orange. So if you have orange, grab that from your art box. And let's make a few of these seashells that we see on top, orange, and then we'll come with another color and make them a different color for the rest. So here, let's go every other. So I want you to skip each one and color it in with that color. So for example, right here, this one here, let's start out with orange on this one, which is really the second one. There's one in the background, very small. We'll make that a different color in just a little bit but grab orange and you can go ahead and color in the second one with that orange, nice and easy. And just be careful because a few of these seashells, as you can see, overlap. Let's make the middle one. So we're going to skip this one and let's go right over here to the middle one and let's color this in with that orange. Excellent. And now let's go ahead and just follow along that very fun, seashell shape and we're going to skip this one and you guessed it yes let's go right over here and color this one in right over here so as you see we're going to have a nice two-tone look on our beautiful mermaid's crown and we'll do that next with the next color so with the next color let's finish coloring in those seashells and to do that i want to use the color yellow so go ahead and find yellow in your art box. And when you have that, we're going to come back up to our crown and color in the rest of the seashells with that yellow. So right over here, we have that very small seashell on the back. Let's not forget about that. Color that in yellow and then skip over. We did this one in orange. Let's color in this next one in yellow. And when you see the yellow next to the orange, now you see how that two color effect makes for a really beautiful and colorful crown of seashells for our mermaid. 
So right over here, again, let's skip the middle one, which is in orange already. Make the one right next to it that bright yellow, just like that. Beautiful work. You're all doing a terrific job. Just take your time and have a fun, relaxing time with your colored pencils, your markers, or your crayons. And last, last but not least, let's go over here to the right. So this little tiny spot here in the back is also another seashell, and we're going to make that little piece yellow. Beautiful, just like that. So now we have a really colorful crown made of seashells. Let's go to our final two colors, which are going to start out with a red. So if you have any red in your art box, let's go ahead and make the hair, the long, beautiful hair that our cute mermaid has red. So starting out right over here on the left side, take that red. And again, you can use any color you would like on your mermaid's hair, but I want to try to get a reddish color for our mermaid just to make it a really nice bright color that adds to the page. So right over here, we have a lot of room to work with, but over by the seashells, as you can see, it gets a little tricky. So you wanna be careful once you get closer to the hair and the area where the crown is of seashells, because it gets a little, little narrow up there and you wanna be just careful. But right around the middle, you can be a little more free with your hand because you have more space to work with right around the face though you want to be careful again you see how it gets a little smaller and you want to just make sure you take your time and you can slow down as you get to those areas one tip i have is when you get to areas where it's really small for your coloring you want to take a little extra time and just slow down slow down just a little bit in those areas for yourself it will make for a much much nicer page at the end if you do take your time in those smaller areas. And when you have some areas that are a lot bigger, like in the middle of our mermaid's hair here, you can move a little faster, but you still want to stay within the lines as best as you can. You're all doing a terrific job. Hopefully you're having fun out there with this cute little mermaid coloring page and getting creative with the colors. Again, we're going to use some colors that you may not have. So feel free to use any colors that you have at home. If you wanna substitute, if you want your colorful mermaid to be all different colors, that's fun too. And right in here, you see this little area right beside the right side of the mermaid's face is a little smaller. So I'm just going to be a little careful there. But right here, I have a big space, big space to color in using this marker, just like that, beautiful. And now we're coming around to the middle. So we're oh, over halfway, we're coloring in the long, beautiful hair that our mermaid has. Excellent, beautiful. So right around the hand, you see we have two hands for our mermaid where she's holding her hair. We wanna be a little careful right around there but we're almost finishing up with the rest of our mermaid's hair, just like that. And if you have red or you have a red orange or a orange even, any color you like, anything that makes this hair pop off the page would be beautiful. So we're down to our final color, which is going to be a light pink. So if you have any color you would like to use to finish your mermaid, go ahead and use that. But for this one, I wanna make it a little bit different, a little more colorful. So I am going to use a light pink. So I'm going to start here with our mermaid's hand and I'm going to use that light, very light pink color, just like that. Then I'll move on to our mermaid's face. Again, just going to follow along with the lines very carefully, taking my time. And I want us to just get a different effect and a different color by using a light pink on my mermaid's skin. But you can use any color you you like that you may have in your art box. And right in here, I'm using the light pink, very light pink on the top part underneath 
the face of our mermaid. And now on to two other parts, which is the right arm and right over here, just above the tail. This is coming out beautiful. Excellent. So now we finished coloring in our cute little mermaid together using six colors. Oh.